Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the cheapest Super C in the world for 2020. This is the 2020 Nexus Triumph Model 35T, which, is, which has bunk beds. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then I'm gonna give you three things I love about this motorhome and three things I dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited. Andre and I traveled all the way down to Tampa, Florida to record this beast of a motorhome right here. The absolute best value, the cheapest, the greatest deal in history on a Super C, the Nexus Triumph 35T. Now, before we begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Super exciting checking out this motorhome. Yes, I can't wait for you guys to see it. Yep. Listen, it's great, it's simple, it's basic, but let me tell you, the reason why I love it is because of the price. I'm super excited to show you. Let's check out this chassis. This is powered on the International MV chassis, okay? It has 300 horsepower. Whoop, let me show it to you. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Woo! I love it. Comments. America. America. God bless the USA. America. That's right. Amen. Check it out. This has the Cummins 300 horsepower, 6.7 liter engine with 660 foot pounds of torque. Get the job done. Get you out of a ruckus. Very nice. Check out these nice tires. These are the nice big 255-70R. 22.5 inch tires so even though this is a super c it's gonna ride nice check it out up front here you do have your cameras right here left and right blinker in reverse this is model 35t but the actual tip to tip length in this motorhome is 36 feet one inch and then check this out oh, i love you that have these man. nice bus style windows right here look at this and then the get up in the cockpit area, look at that. Oh man, very nice. You know, you're in a Mack truck, you're driving this thing, people better get out of your way. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Come on, let's keep on rolling. Hey, let, hey, let's keep on trucking. Cool, coming around the side, look, just get a nice, look at this. Get a nice picture of that chrome front. Very nice, very beautiful. Up front here, well, let's check out the side. Partial body paint, Andrea. Full body paint is an option. I wouldn't recommend that on this motorhome. Partial body paint's what's gonna help. This is the only um, Super C that gives you partial body paint, which this front cab part is black, and then the other part's white. Makes it really nice. And again, the whole objective of this motorhome is to keep the price down. That's why I love that. Check out this battery storage right there. Fiberglass doors but they are slam latch. You have a nice power awning with LED lights. Let me show you that when it's all the way out. Oh man, look at that awning. They did a good job. Dude, I'm telling you, this motorhome's great. Nice power awning with LED lights right here. You do have your propane. It is a 20.3 gallon propane tank. And we'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank sizes, widths, everything down in the description below. Right there. Got a little bit of power. Over here, check out that storage. Nice storage compartment. Very nice. And then here, what do we got here? More storage. More storage. I like that. I'm a fan. Now listen, y'all. Um, this motorhome is brand new, and it debuted during the Tampa RV Super Show. And when I found out about this motorhome, I requested to work the Nexus display. Great point. What makes Nexus unique is, uh, unlike the other manufacturers who use aluminum construction, they use a high-strength, low-alloy steel, which is 72% stronger. 
which means 72% safer. I love it. They use Asdale both on the interior walls and exterior walls. So that will never delaminate on you. Also, sumps, there's no ladder for the back. Womp womp. But they do have a nice one-piece fiberglass roof. I love it. What's this here? Wow, look at that. More storage. Very nice. The ants are biting me, you guys. Oh, man. I mean, they're literally crawling up and biting me. They're oh. all over my feet, all over my socks. All right, oh. Let's hurry. Right over there is more storage. Okay. Coming around the back. You do have a nice bumper. Great place for your stinky stinky. 12,000 pound hitch, Andrea. Wow. 12,000 pounds. Now, this motorhome, I think it can tow 12,000 pounds. I'm going to say 10,000 just to be safe. But again, doesn't matter what motorhome you're looking at. You always want to take your GCWR minus your GVWR to figure out the towing capacity. You do have a backup camera right there. And again, no ladder for the back. I don't like that. But it is what it is. Also, we're now selling official Matt's RV Review stickers bing, here on our website. And Andrea, what we're doing for Easter, why don't you tell everybody? Everybody, it's buy one, get one free. Buy one, get one free till Easter. Thank you so much. Finishing up with the driver's side. Look at that. Right there is your Magnum Inverter 50 amp power cord. Okay, interesting right there. Right here, you do have a 10 gallon DSI water heater. Here's your city hookup and everything right there. And your coax. Yep. And then look at that. Nice storage right there. Oh, wow. It's actually a little pass through. And I love that diamond plate right there. Very nice. Over here, you do have an outdoor shower. I love that. Right over here, here's your sewer connection. Look how clean and crisp that is. Very simple. Very simple. Nice, easy to get to and everything. Right over there is more storage. Here's your Cummins Onan 6000 diesel generator. And then over here is more storage. And that's where you fill up your DEF. Well, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but the inside looks even better. Andre, why don't you go around and I'll meet you in the cockpit area. Okay. Check out this motorhome, Andrea. This is what it looks like when the slide outs are in. It's very spacious. Very. Look at that. Look at that walkway. That's nice. Bathroom. Easily I can get to the bathroom. Very easily. Right. And very then easy here is the bathroom. bedroom. Now check it out, Andrea. While I'm getting the slide outs out, I have a huge favor to ask. If you could, please, leave down in the comments below. This is a brand new product from Nexus. Let us know the three things you like about this motorhome and the three things you don't like about it. Dave Middleton and Claude Donati and David Lint, they all, well, Dave Middleton and Claude Donati own Nexus and Dave, uh, and Dave Lint is the uh, product manager. They all watch the channel. They love it. And they're very involved with they're all their customers. They're very involved, yep. Uh, I call them the Tiffin of Class C's and they read the comments and they're always looking to improve so we appreciate that and the more people who comment and smash that thumbs up button the more YouTube likes to promote our video and Andrea we just hit 35,000 subscribers Woo! Thank, thank you, you guys everyone. we Here. really appreciate it yep so check it out after our last, ne last Nexus video check out these buttons Andrea Remember how I said I didn't like these round buttons? Oh. Right? I didn't like them. Well, Claude Donati sent me a text message after he watched the video. Yeah. And he said he's on it, and they switched to rectangle <gasps> buttons. Wow. You know, it, it just shows you how great of a company they are. Yeah, absolutely. So let's check out this cockpit area. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Oh, that's so cool. You ready? Yeah! Hell yeah! No. Nope. <laughs> it's a wee corn. Wee corn. <laughs> there should be 
be an airport somewhere, I would I imagine. Don't see the David, how's it going? Hey, real quick, I'm making a video right now. Is there an air horn in the Wraith? Triumph. In the Triumph, I mean. No air horn? Womp, womp, womp. Well, hey, thanks for picking up. All right, bye. <laughs> hey, Andrea. No air horn, womp, womp. I know. But um, that's a dislike, okay? Don't like that. But I do like the chassis. I like the cab area. Andrea, sit in the... Um, passenger seat right there what's this very comfortable that's the emergency that's the brake okay yeah it is comfy actually yep. oh right now i could seriously take a nap oh yeah but it's very roomy not and i have plenty of space i feel very comfortable in here yep now check it out i have a power seat do you have a power seat or no no It'll be on your other side no okay yep so uh the driver has the power seat so that's nice and yeah Cool, but I love this. You just feel so big and safe in here and everything. All right, so we do have a nice big bunk over the cab. I love this. This motorhome can sleep a ton of people. Very simple, very nice. And you do have your TV here. I like how it's not in the bunk, uh, in the cab area. Yeah. Oh it's yeah, you can actually right swivel there. it out over there. That's yep. great. Very nice, I love that. And it does swivel out of the way for your some storage right here. Okay. There is a opening up there, you guys, for ventilation. Yep. And then look at this chair. I love it. It stays stationary there while you're driving, but you can move that chair anywhere out of the way. Nice. And I love how the TV is directly across from this sofa. Very nice. You're looking head on at the TV. You know, you got your window here, not frameless windows, but I love these style of windows because you're able to get them all opened up. Very beautiful and nice. Great. And you do have cabinetry above. Wow, look at that. Hidden hinge cabinetry. I love that and I can appreciate that in this price point. Very nice. And then we have also shades yep. out of lines. Very nice. And then Andrea, why don't you show everybody the kitchen? All right, so here's the kitchen. Uh huh. I like these handles, you guys. Check that out. Very nice. Very cute. Look oh my God, Andrea. I love that with the shelves. Let me see those handles again. Aren't they pretty? They're nice. Are those handles Art Deco? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then we have the mini blinds here. Uh huh. The light. Tower of power. Oh, maybe not tower of power, but nope. you can see the USB and it's electrical outlet. Plug of power, yep. Plug of power. Yep. Got a big square sink. I don't wow. know why I would call that farmhouse, but that's pretty deep. It's Look nice at that. deep. It's recessed in. I love that faucet, huh? Yes. Yes, I like it. I'm glad it's not, you know, colored. Not not solid surface countertop. It's kind of like a thermal foil. But again, trust me folks, entry level price point. All right. For Under super here, seat. We have a cabinet underneath uh -huh. the sink. We have the water heater. Yep. Button, two drawers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, they feel like, no, maybe Nope, not. do it again. Nope, <laughs> I thought they were uh, the so other drawers. Here, okay, just, I, that's just design. Yep. Like, and we got a microwave. Uh-huh. That's a convection. That is it is convection. convection. Yeah. Yep, okay, good. Very good I was about size. to say, I was worried. It didn't look like a convection microwave. Three burner cooktop. Yep. Glass cover. Yep. And no oven. We got a cabinet underneath. Yep. We got a Whirlpool residential fridge. Yep. Think. Somebody broke it. That's why. Very nice. Very nice residential refrigerator. Great size. W well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, you ready for this? Yes. MSRP on this motorhome is. One hundred ninety-four thousand two hundred and seventy-nine dollars MSRP. Wow. Sale price: we have it twenty-eight percent off to one thirty-nine nine ninety-nine, which is an incredible price for a Super C diesel. 
It's the best price Super C diesel in the country. But Andrea, we were selling it even cheaper at the uh, Tampa RV show. And I might be able to still get it to you at that Tampa show price. But only if... You call, you text, you email, or you FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or contact me, mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Or my um, webpage, mattsrvreviews.com. All right. Let's Got another cabinet uh -huh. with shelves. That's Very great. Nice. Adjustable shelves. And guys, um, this sofa does jackknife. Oh, so into the bed. you yep. can sleep one person on there or two children. Yep. Over here at the dinette, this dinette also drops down, makes a bed. It is a very comfortable dinette, believe it or not. I love the little light fixture there. And you do have storage above the dinette as well. Check out the cup holders in there. Very nice. Also, we have two AC units. And cool. Again, you guys, what I keep saying in the videos is check out how the RV manufacturers are keeping the chair rail look. Yep, very nice. Right over here, you do have your bunk beds. This motorhome sleeps a lot of people. And you do have a USB and electrical outlet up there. Yep, very nice. Same thing under here. Very nice. They got their own lights. Yep, nice. And then you do have storage under the bunk right here. There's two drawers here. Yes. Very nice. Time for the bathroom. All right. Okay. Look at the shower. It's definitely interesting. It's a little bit of a high step up, but I got plenty of height in here. You know, not Look at that. That's insane. Yep. It's not the best shower. It's not the worst. I love this curvature right here with the shower door. I'm actually a big fan of that. And then you do have I, a sink right there. And it's a big deal. I like how they have a handle in here, you guys. Yep. A lot of times, you know, you don't have that nice, secure handle. Check out that cabinet. That's Very awesome. Nice. Look how big that is. Uh-huh. Also have a fan up there. Fantastic. And now, we have a little sink here. Yep. With the cabinet. And then there's some shelves next to the toilet. Time for the toilet test. All right, it's a porcelain toilet. Good, good. Stepping in that shower. I'm stepping in this shower. Okay. It's a prime pooping position, but like an A minus. Because if I was bigger, then I might be stuck, right? But for me, it works. If you're taller, it's not a prime pooping position. You know what I'm saying? But it the works piece? for me. No, 3.73 piece. Okay. Yep. But again, entry level price point, so I love that. Okay. All right. Let's check out this bedroom area. Look at this, because there is only one bed or a one bath, you do have this nice rear window back here. I love that. Nice king size bed. Very nice. Matthew, I've spacious. never seen you make a bed before. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> and I like the open concept because right there, those yes. are good places for your sleep at machine. Did I mention two AC units? Yes. Yeah. And it is, I like how it is open right there. It seems like people that are taller won't hit their heads and stuff. Oh, yeah, no. This is great for tall people. I would like to mention with the AC units, it is metal duct work for the AC units. Uh, that's something that Nexus does. What some other manufacturers do, they'll use styrofoam to duct their AC units. And you got great cabinetry above. And these lights are super cute. Yep. Turn one on. Nice. Very nice. Also over here is your thermostat, uh -huh. your button for your lights, and check out the little nightstand with the shelves. Yep. And then over here, wrapping up the bedroom, we got a little bit more storage here. Very nice. We got some drawers. Four more drawers. Them. Six. Six drawers. Six all together. Yep. That's nice. I like that. Yep. Now what about the TV? Nope. I think that's just... I oh, think... actually, I think it does come up. Oh, man. Look at that. Hidden, hidden storage behind the television. That's great. And then also you have another one. Oh, open that one. Yeah. That one had the light on. Oh, very nice. This is the Oh, that one has a light sensor. Oh, this one does too. I didn't oh, even Oh, so it just that. came on when we opened it. Yep. Very cool. And then, yeah, I like how there's six big drawers here. Yep. Is there storage under the bed? Bet you there is. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. No storage under the bed. Oh, hang on. It, it, it is weird. How does it lift? It lifts up. Oh, wait. No. 
Nope. That's something. Yeah. All right, all right. No storms under the bed. And as you can see, I'm a fan of lights down there. So if you know you're getting up in the middle of the night, you can see. Great. So, and also this has a, an accordion type door. Uh-huh. Well, great. So that's it. That's the review. Now, before you guys leave, it's now time we give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? I think we should do dislikes. Great. Okay. So very simple for me. Um, I have two. Do you have one? Oh, I do. Okay. Perfect. First dislike I do not like about this is these bunks. I personally don't like how the bunks do not flip up out of the way. Uh, they're stationary. I think it wouldn't have been that big of a deal to put some cuts in here and to make it so they can flip up out of the way. So that's one. Andrea? Um, I, I don't like this sofa. Okay, what don't you like about it? I don't know. I feel like it should have had arms on it. Yeah, good point. Um, good point. Yeah. It's just kind of like a, you know, cheap sofa that Jack knives. I'm but, not sure if it's really, really cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. I mean, it still feels pretty comfortable. But I you just, wish there was arms on it. Exactly. It just, uh, it looks aesthetically to me, not very pleasing to my eyes. Got it. And okay. Also, I have one more. Uh-huh. I'm not a fan of this headboard back here. Okay. I'm a fan of how open it is back here, and I love all the space. Yep. But just that yeah. headboard. Okay. But what I will say is I do like how the sofa is directly across from the television. And then something else that I'm going to say I dislike about this motorhome is... Oh, that's what it was. I knew it was something. I don't like how there's not a backsplash here. Yes. Personally. Agree. Well, that's three things we don't like. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. What's that? The TV. You go first. TV's great. Yes. I love how you can move this. Yep. And you can have it back here. How it's on, yep, the swing arm. If there's kids up here, they can watch uh -huh. your bed. Or, you know, if you're sitting as a family out here, you can easily put it back here. I love it. And the size of the TV is huge. It is. It's a great size. Perfect. That's one, two, and three is going to be outside. Cool. Two is going to be the quality and construction of this motorhome. Oh, definitely. I absolutely love the Asdale on the interior walls and exterior walls. The reason why it's good on the interior walls as well is because it won't give you that formaldehyde smell. And um, I love the uh, steel cage construction. Safety. Yes. Um, what I love about Nexus, it doesn't matter if you're looking at their Triumph, their Wraith, or their Ghost. The quality and construction is all the same. It's just kind of higher trim levels. So that's two. Oh, the chassis. The three is this chassis. This nice international chassis. It's badass. It's America. Oh, crap. I would like to add another dislike. No air horn. That's what yes, it was. Yes, yes. You need to have it. an air horn. Dang it. Dang damn it. Get out of our way. Boom. <laughs> yep. But I love this chassis, and I love how this is the best price Super C in the country. Listen, the inside, I know what you guys are going to say, because I'm thinking it too. It isn't pretty, it isn't nice, it's not, you know, a Tuscany, it's not the ghost, it's not, you know, a beautiful Allegro bus or Zephyr, but let me tell you, it's a great Super C with an incredible towing rating that gets the job done at a crazy affordable price. Absolutely. And that's what I absolutely love about it. But that's it, that's the review. Andrea, thank you so much for coming all the way down to Tampa with me. Um, we appreciate you making the drive. It's my job. Yep, well, we appreciate it. And I want to thank everybody for spending the time watching this video. If you have any questions about this Triumph, please call me, text me, send me an email. It's mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 is my cell number. Andre, do you have anything you would like to say? Yes. Hey, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this Triumph and the three things that you dislike. Like we said, Nexus does read our comments. And yeah, we're interested to see what you have to say about it. Other than that, everybody, please stay safe and be cautious, okay? We're all going to get through this together. Yep. Thanks so much. And Andrea, one final thing. Buy one, get one free. Bing! St stickers on the website, mattsrvreviews.com from now until Easter. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.